Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and this is a mini lesson on constructing explanations with evidence, level four, revising explanations with evidence. The icon for explanations, remember, is always this because we're coming up with a cause or a solution to a phenomena, understanding the phenomena. In this video, what you'll do is you'll come up with an initial explanation, then you'll get more evidence, and you're gonna revise your explanation based on that evidence. And so remember, in science, what we try to do is we ask questions about phenomena. And the big thing that we try to do is we try to identify, okay, the phenomena is the effect and what's causing that. And that's gonna be our explanation or a revised explanation. And so it'll start with a initial explanation, just with not much evidence. We'll get more evidence and then we'll revise our explanation and we'll use some reasoning to come up with a revised explanation. After watching this video, you should be able to do this with something like this secret wooden box or the evolution of stickleback in Lake Washington. I'm gonna start by showing you how to do this with a simple painted dog. And then you'll have a chance to do that with this model inside a container. So let me clean this up and we'll get started. Okay, so what we're given to start is just this dog. So it's made of wood. You can see the back is not painted and it's rough and then it's got painting on the front. And so what I'm gonna write down is what is the phenomena? So now what I've got is the phenomena, which is going to be the effect. We have this painted dog. We don't know what caused that. In other words, that's our guiding question. What caused the dog to be painted? And so what I'm gonna start with is I'm gonna start with a initial explanation. So the initial explanation has gotta be based on the evidence that I have just been given. So let me write down, remember, evidence first, then explanation, and then reasoning. Okay, so I've got evidence. I've got four colors of paint on the front. I've got brush strokes, and I could also write no paint on back. And so now I want to come up with an initial explanation and reasoning. Okay, so my initial explanation with evidence is that someone painted the dog. That's going to be the cause. I've got four colors of paint on the front, brush strokes on the front, and then there's no paint on the back. And so my reasoning, and why is this evidence important, it shows that the dog was initially black and then the paint that was added later, um, and it was added with some kind of a brush, accounting for the brush strokes. And so this is just gonna be my initial explanation with evidence. And the way this works is we're then given additional evidence. So I'm gonna be given additional evidence. And as I look through this, I always wanna be looking at, is all of this evidence gonna be helpful in getting a better explanation? And so the first bit I get is just four color, or three colors of paint. So it looks like the only paint available was yellow, blue, and red. So that seems important. I also have, uh, it looks like a mixing tray, and it has, well, the, the yellow color for sure, and the blue color, but then some of the other colors that match up with the dog are also there, so I think that's important evidence. Uh, additional evidence three is some pictures of dogs, and I don't think that really helps, so I'm gonna get rid of that. Um, next thing I have is, uh, in art we would call that a model, so we've got a couple of models. We've got uh, this model that shows how these primary colors can make secondary colors, like orange, and that might be uh, orange, green, and purple, and that might be important, just based on the colors that I had to start. And then we have these secondary colors forming tertiary colors. So I think this evidence is all important. So what I'm gonna now do is I'm gonna revise my evidence so then I can come up with a rev revised explanation. Okay, so the additional evidence that I have from one and two, I learned that only the yellow and the blue were available, but also the yellow and blue were mixed, and that in the mixed tray, all four colors represented in the dog are there. 
And then for evidence four and five, I can see that blue and yellow makes green and also yellow and green make chartreuse. And so now I've got some good evidence. So what I'm gonna wanna do is I'm going to want to revise my explanation. And so let me write a revised explanation. Okay, now you can see I've updated my cause, updated my explanation. What I think happened is that someone used yellow and blue to mix the additional colors. So that would be green and chartreuse. And then those were added to the dog. So now I've got good evidence. I've got a revised explanation. All I have to do is finish up my reasoning. Okay, so the reasoning uh, that matches the first evidence, I still think it was painted based on the first evidence, but since only blue and, and yellow were available and we have evidence that they were mixed in a tray, that, that tells us it's important because it shows us that to create the four colors, the two colors need to be mixed. Also, we only have these colors, but with the models essentially of primary and tertiary colors tell us that all four colors can be created from the blue and the yellow. And so what I've done is I've gone through, remember I started with an initial investigation, I looked at the evidence, and then I revised the explanation. And scientists do this over and over. So what I'm gonna do is clean this up and then I'm gonna give you a new phenomena and you can try this on your own. Okay, now that you've learned how to make a revised explanation, you should try it on your own. So this is the phenomena, I have this model. So there's a blue model that's inside this container. And so I would encourage you to pause the video, draw the, uh, write down the initial explanation with evidence and reasoning, and then I'll put a link below to additional evidence. And so then go through and then use that additional evidence to revise the explanation, unpause, then come back and see how ours compare. All right, now that you're back, the first thing that we want to do is always to define what is the phenomena. In other words, what is the effect and then what are we looking for? Okay, so what I wrote down is a blue model in a container is our effect. It's our phenomena, it's what we see. We don't really know what caused that, and that's our question. What caused the model to end up assembled in the container? And so the first thing, just given the initial evidence, let me just write an initial explanation, always starting from the evidence. All right, so this is my initial explanation. The model was assembled and then it was placed in the container. My evidence is that it existed inside the container with the lid on when I found it. And my reasoning is you can't assemble the model in the container because your fingers wouldn't fit. So it had to be assembled and then placed. Or you could also say um, the lid wouldn't have been on place before we tried to put it in because it wouldn't fit. And so this is just a simple explanation, just using a little bit of evidence. But now you want to look at the additional evidence that you have. So I've got this initial evidence. I then have additional evidence. And so it looks like, according to this photograph, that it can be assembled inside a white container. So that's kind of interesting. We can also see that that same white container with the model sitting on the top of it that the, the model wouldn't fit inside the container. So that's super relevant as well. That means that you can't assemble it and just put it in where it is assembled. And also we've got evidence on the different pieces, how it looks like it can be broken into pieces. And then the last one, we've got one of those individual pieces and then you can see that there's a compass and the compass needles are pointing towards these little metal parts. And so I think all of this evidence is pretty good. So let me assemble all this evidence under here and then we'll start revising our explanation.
Okay, so the additional evidence that I've summarized from evidence one and two, the model doesn't fit into the white container but can be assembled inside the white container. So that's important that it doesn't fit but it can eventually be assembled. And then the other one is that each of these pieces have five pairs of north-south magnets. I can just see that because the compass needle is pointing towards it. And so now I have to come up with some reasoning. Again, what's that reasoning? It should help like point back to a revised explanation. And so let's actually start there. So what is my revised explanation? Let me write that out now. This is what I'm thinking. Okay, so my revised explanation for the phenomena or my cause is that the pieces may have been added one at a time to the container and then shaking allowed the pieces to self-assemble. So that's a new revised explanation or a, a possible explanation that would go along with this other explanation. So now I have to come up with some reasoning. So let me write down some reasoning. Okay, so as we look back to the phenomena of the model inside the container, I think either of these explanations could be correct. So I would want to include both of those in my revised explanation. It was either assembled and then placed in the container. It may have been each of the pieces added and then by shaking it, they self-assembled. My reasoning that matches up with that, so from this idea that it doesn't fit into the white container but it can, that means that there's a possible mechanism or a way that it could assemble inside the model and then the other thing I think the reason why the magnets are important is that they could when we're shaking it they could be attracted to each other and so then they could self-assemble and so that is my revised uh, explanation with evidence and so now that you've learned how to do that you could try to do the same thing with something like a secret puzzle box we have a link in the slides down below or you could do a science example and try to revise an explanation based on the stickleback evolution in Lake Washington. But that's how you revise a model. You always look at the evidence and then you have to connect your revised explanation using reasoning and I hope that's helpful.